Hello, in this video we are going to take a look to Outline. This is a wiki tool that can help you create documents and edit documents. It has a collaborative features that can help you share the documents with your team and edit them. Basically, this is like a knowledge base or a more lightweight alternative to a Notion that you can self-host on your own web servers. So if you don't know, this is how it's looking. So right now it's installed on a custom subdomain in here. And in here you have the interface. It's very similar with what you are seeing in Notion. And in here you can create documents. You can add collections. For instance, in the documents you can add H1 tags, H2 and so on. You have here like uh, task lists that you can add. You see in here that the tests are displayed in here. When you complete them, it will be it will be marked like this. If you add another one, it will keep the tracker. So in here, you can add images. For instance, in uh, in here, you can add the videos, you can add file attachment, you have bullet points, you can add the uh, code blocks and uh, so on. So it's very feature packed if you are uh, trying to create documents for your company or um, you want to collaborate with others. In here, you have integrations you see in here with uh, Airtable, Canva, CodePen, Figma and uh, so on. Uh, you have the options to create collections. So in here you see that you can add new collections if you want. And in here you can add like uh, Dragos to collection. And uh, uh, you set the default access in here. You can choose your icon. You can create the connection like this. Then you have the options to create a document in this, like uh, my first document then you can go and add the, the details you want in here for instance you can add also youtube videos if you're going to pick something like that you can add it it will be displayed uh, easily you have the options to add code for instance that will look uh, nice you see in here you have the options to choose it for instance so the page it will be like this and in here you have the options to publish this and you have other options for instance in here you have with options to templatize this so you can create this as a template and uh, right now you are brought to the template side and this was created a template and if you go back and uh, you want to create like a new document in here you have the options to choose for your first uh, for your for your template so you can start with them so you can manage access in here it has a light and the dark mode that you can choose from. You can grant access to the users, you can change profiles. And uh, yeah, let's uh, see. For instance, you can, uh, you have the option in here to add a table of contents. You can add comments for, for this if you want. And uh, so on. So this is like uh, an interesting tool that uh, you can use to sell host your documents that has a nice interface. In this video, we're going to see how you can uh, deploy outline in a Docker container. We're going to use Slack to authenticate because this tool needs an authentication provider. The documents will be stored locally. And uh, yeah, let's get into and uh, see how exactly we can set this thing up. I have uh, an article in here that uh, I've created that we are going to follow to have uh, outline uh, deployed in a Docker container. So. In the beginning, you will need a VPS where you can host this. Uh, I recommend Hesner for, for this. And uh, I'm using Dogjet to run my Docker containers. I've also created a video in the past with all of these details that you can uh, follow. And uh, in, the, in the end, we're going to use Cloudflare tunnels that will help us uh, point the installations to a domain or a subdomain. And uh, these are the things that you'll need to, to have. And um, I already created a video with all of these things and I will let the link to the description so you can follow and uh, have this. If you want, you can also use only Docker uh, Compose to run this. I'm just choosing to use Docj because it makes things easier to add Docker container and has a nice uh, UI. So yeah, the first thing that uh, you will need is to have some uh, credentials for authentications. With the outline, you can use uh, Google Authentication, you can use Microsoft or you can use Slack. For Google Authentication, you need to 
the order plate plan in the workspace so that's why i'm i have chosen to set this up with slack also you can use other uh, providers that manage these uh, accounts for you if you if you want but basically the first thing that we are going to do is to create the slack application and uh, have our um, secret from from there so to do that we are just going to open the the slack application and in here you have the slack api and in here i am already logged in slack it's free to use and i have a workspace for this with bdoze and i will create an app for this and i will start from scratch and in here you will put the application name so outline i'll put the name i will choose the workspace it will be my workspace i will choose to create an app okay so right now the app should be created the other things that you need to do is to go into the cloud and the permission and in here you have to add an uh, redirect url so in this section in the redirect url you will need to add a redirect to your application so if you are going to check in here you need to add uh, to the domain or the subdomain that you are going to use the out the slack uh, callback so this is the fury url i will set this into the docs.bdos.com this will be the url that i'm going to use to access this and i will add it like this in here okay i will save the urls and uh, right now we should have everything set up and in the basic informations you have the application details in here the client id and the client secret it will be the one that uh, we're going to to need to connect this there so next what we're going to to do having this uh, setup is to go and copy the docker compose file so in here i've created a docker compose file with all the details i will explain them to you when we're going to dogj and add at them so in here you just hit compose and you are should add your compose file in in here so you see in here you can add the, a name so i'll put the outline name for this and uh, right now in here let's go and uh, check this you will see that you have the image with the port that we are going to use i have a volume in uh, storage data where i will have the images for uh, for this installation and uh, this is depending on progress and the redis and in here i have some environments details in here i will set the non-ssl method to the postgres i have the secret key that you will need to generate for for this it will be one command that will generate will generate one after i will use secrets here is a database url and the details are stored into an environment files with some um, environments in here i've also set up the server ip that you can add it can be local host or the server ip address for some reason in my case it doesn't work with the local host it only works with the server ip address that i am trying to set here you have the url here you have the port basically the url is the subdomain domain that you are going to use file storage so this is uh, set to local so in the past uh, you needed an s3 to, to connect it for a um, for a storage for images right now we don't need it and here you have the path where this file will, will be stored you see that this is pointing to a domain in here we have the file storage upload size and in here you have the slack client id and client secrets and here it's um, the restart option so it to restart automatically unless it's stopped then you have the redis configuration with the port in here and the uh, you have the health check for the postgres same you have the data that will be stored in this uh, in this location basically it will be a directory in the uh, opt stacks option and in here you have the username and the password and db for this these are the options for your docker compose file and uh, right now the other thing that we're going to to do is to go and uh, configure the environment file so this can be done easily with dogj in here uh, and i've created the sample in here for this so in here you have you see that you have all the environment files that you will need to set up and we're going to go and change what we want in here so for instance the server ip 
is the actual IP of this server. I will let it like this for the Postgres user. Uh, this is just for testing. I'll highlight the, the user as user. Here you can put your password. Here you have the DB that you can set. And here we need to generate some secret keys and, and the util secrets. Basically, to do this, you just need to run this command, open SSL, run minus x32. And if we're going to open a terminal, you will see in here that uh, if we're going to run this, you will be granted with a code. I'll just take this code and uh, put it in, in there for the secret key. Then the, for the util secret, we will need to do the same thing. Let me run again the same command to generate the second code. So I run it again. I generated a new code. I'll put it in, in here. And then you have the URL that you are going to use. In my case, it will be docs.bdocs.com, which HTTPS. It will be the port that uh, was added in here. You see the 3000 and the external one with 3000. You can use what port uh, you want. And then you'll have the Slack client IDs and client secrets. This we're going to go and copy from, from here. So you have the client ID in here. We're just going to copy this. And then we're going to go and add it in here. OK, then we're going to add a client secret for this. And uh, this is the client secret. We are going to show it. We are going to copy it. I will delete them after, so don't try to, to use them. So right now, you see that uh, in here, you should have all the details that will help you run this. You just need to input your own in here. And what we will do right now, we will go and just hit save for this. And uh, right now, we just need to start the containers. So this will pull the details and uh, it will go and start everything uh, for us. So you see that right now everything is creating. It will start the database. It will try to create the database if it's not because it's not created right now. And at the end, you should have everything started. Another options that uh, to, to do is to you, know, you need to make the 1000 owner in in the storage data. So if you remember in here, I've created a storage data where our images will be stored and uh, we need to add the 1001 to this uh, location because it will uh, not work. Otherwise, you cannot upload images because the user in the container, it will be the uh, node JS one. It's a custom user and needs to has rights in here to write this. To do this, we are just going to open the terminal. And in here, I'm already in stacks, if you see. And uh, I'm going to do ls minus l here. In here, I have outline. And what I need to do in here, you see that uh, you have the storage data. You just need to add the 1001 on this. Right now, if you are going to check this, you see the 1001. It has access to the storage data. So right now we should have the configurations done in the in the Docker Compose or DocJ, depending on what you want to use. The other thing that we are going to, to, to need to do is to configure the Cloudflare tunnels. And uh, to do this, we are going to access the Cloudflare. I have here the server. And what I will do, I will add a public host name. And in here, you add your subdomain. Uh, in my case, it was docs. And I will choose a domain for this. And domain was bidos.com. And in here, you have the type. I will go to HTTPS. And in here, we are going to add the server IP. Let me copy the server IP from the environment. And uh, let me go and add the port in the end. So it will be 3000. And right now, we should just hit save. OK. Just a second, because I've made a mistake. So it is docs like this. OK, so right now we should have uh, everything working in here. 
So let's go and uh, open this. Let me go into a new incognito window and uh, see if this is opening. So you see that right now this is working and in here the first thing that we are going to be prompted is to continue with Slack because we choose Slack for the authentication. And uh, right now you put your uh, workspace. In my case it was Bidoze. And you authenticate with Slack. So we're going to authenticate with Slack. Okay. And then in here you have the options to allow everything. And uh, right now you are uh, in um, in the interface. You see in here that you have the workspace that uh, you've chosen. And in here you have the user. In You have the options to change this uh, dark mode like it was in the in the past and in here you see that you have the get started options you can add this and this will be updated you can add a new collection if you want you can create your first document in here if you want to test like this you can go and add the things you want like h1 my doc. Then if you want, you can go and add an image if you want in here. Let me see if I can find the image. Let me take this uh, Gatsby thing. And you see like right now the image has been added. And uh, you can go and add your other things if you want uh, in here. You can uh, Activate, you can share this if you want at the end, you can make it public on the internet. You have the options to create a link for this, uh, like a test a doc. You can publish it. Let's see. You have the options to, to go to share also the sub, uh, sub documents for this. If you copy the link and if you open this into the new incognito window, right now you should have the options to, to go and see this document on the table of contents and so on. So yeah, like this you are deploying outline in a couple of uh, clicks. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.